Alright guys, uh, today I'm just going to give you a real quick video on the uh, UK coin mechanisms for your arcade machine. So uh, here we are. This is uh, pretty much your standard one. It's uh, Mars Electronics MS111. Um, it's a multi-coin validator. As you can see, you can get uh, you know, 10, 20, 50 and 1 pound coins in this. Uh, in America, you just have your single coin mech where you put your coin in and it triggers a micro switch and you, of course, then get a credit on your game. Uh, in the UK, we can use uh, different coins. So uh, obviously, so you've just bought yourself an arcade cabinet. You know, you wanna you wanna put me a minute. So uh, you're like, right, got the JAMA harness here. You know, how how do I connect this up? Right. Well, uh, if you look at the board itself, uh, well, on this one, you'll have your your coin mechanism. Okay, the black bit, and then you'll have your credit board, which is this circuit board. On some arcades, this board itself will be mounted inside the cabinet, rather than on the actual mechanism. So, uh, right, so this is how you would wire it up. If you look carefully, you got your pins there, and uh, from left to right, you've got your, uh, your supply, that's uh, your 12 volt supply. Uh, in terms of MAME, I would take it from the PC, Remember, the yellow wire is your 12 volt, and the, the either of the two black wires is uh, your ground. So uh, what you do, uh, if this will focus for me, is uh, you put your, your ground on this pin, lovely, 12 volt on this pin. Now moving over, you then see the word game, hopefully, there we are. And uh, on this pin, which is broken off, this is a, a faulty game board here, uh, you put your grind from your eye pack or uh, your keyboard hack or you know just your, your negative really and then on the next pin of the uh, the game you would uh, run that wire to you know the one player coin whatever you've set that as and then the next one is a coin meter if you're wanting to run a coin meter to you know let you know how many coins you've put into your game and you know whatever time. So uh, the first pin is the 12 volts and that would go to your coin meter and then the other one is the signal wire that also goes to your coin meter. It's, it doesn't matter what way you get those wired up. And then the last two is uh, your lamp. Obviously you want to have wee glue coming from your uh, coin box. Now the way I wire it is the first one is your 12 volts. Obviously uh, that goes to the lamp. Not You don't need to provide 12 volts to that. That comes from the credit board itself. So 12 volts comes from this to your lamp and then the negative wire from your lamp I wire into the negative supply wire uh, coming from your PC that just keeps everything grounded in a nice safe loop. Okay, so let's see that in practice. So here's the coin mechanism mounted in my arcade cabinet. As you can see, this is a slightly different variation of credit board. This actually has a nice screw terminals rather than the uh, pronged fittings on the other board. So you can see, of course, we've got the, uh, the earth going to the PC. Got the plus 12, which is the yellow wire. My color code is different because I've rewired it. So that's your yellow wire from the PC. Next one, that is the... Uh, Yes, that's the uh, the earth wire that's going to your iPack or your keyboard hack or your joystick hack. Next one is the signal wire that's going to your credit one coin one input. Next one, of course, is uh, the 12 volts to your coin meter that's going to the coin meter. Next one is the signal wire that goes to your coin meter as well. Doesn't matter which way you've got the 12 and the signal. Next one, of course, is the 12 volts going to your light. So that's the brown wire that goes to your light. Next one we don't use. Instead, we send the, the black, the negative wire, to the, the negative input on the uh, power supply itself. Keeps everything earthed. So yes, there you go. So that's the coin mechanism. And then of course you can set uh, your dip switches to, uh, for the price. Uh, I'll provide data for that for you. So. Let's just close. So as you know, the coin uh, goes through there into the chute, drops down into the coin box below my arcade. So let's try it, put it into practice. So that's the door shut. Uh, just got a quick game up here. Knights of the Round Table, that's a classic. So we'll just put our coin in, 10 pence. And there you go, one credit has registered. Okay, we'll put 20 pence in this time. 
There you go, we're now up to three credits, because mine set uh, for every 10 pence you get a credit. However, if you were to put a 50 pence in, you get extra credits, you know, for being, being loyal to the game, as you'd say. So, uh, yeah, there we are. Hope you enjoyed the video.